Are you ready for an exciting new adventure in the world of artificial intelligence and e-commerce? Today, we're going to explore the cutting edge technology of AI and how it can revolutionize the way we create listings for new Etsy items. I've been experimenting with AI and I have to say I'm blown away by what it can do. In fact, for my latest Etsy item, I decided to let the AI take the lead and it came up with the entire listing from the title to the description and even the design itself. And you won't believe the results. Not only did the AI come up with a brilliant and unique design that I never could have imagined, but it also crafted the perfect title and description, complete with all the right keywords to maximize exposure and attract the right customers. So if you're ready to see the future of e-commerce and witness the power of AI in action, stick around because you won't want to miss this. Get ready to be amazed as I reveal the listings for my latest Etsy item in entirely created by artificial intelligence. I think I better get right into this before the robots come to take away my job. I've been hearing mixed reviews about chat GPT and if you've managed not to hear about chat GPT it's a chat bot artificial intelligence that you can interact with in a conversational way to ask questions and it can supposedly do amazing things like write recipes from scratch based on your ingredients, do your home work or even write code for you. But the detractors say it can confidently make up incorrect facts or even dangerous instructions. And some versions of Chatbot are supposedly gaslighting people into thinking it's the wrong year or trying to get them to leave their partner for the artificial intelligence. So obviously I had to try it. It could either be game-changingly useful or a hilarious waste of 10 minutes. I figured asking it to help me brainstorm an original idea for a design for a print-on-demand t-shirt was a great place to start. I know t-shirts are really popular right now and I know print-on-demand is such a competitive niche. So I asked it to suggest an idea of a design I could use to print on a t-shirt to sell on Etsy. Hopefully it would understand I was looking for something simple that would have good commercial potential but to make sure I add it, it must have low competition but must be very popular. Now, the results here are in real time. I've not sped up chatty here. This is how quickly she gets back to you. Already, this actually looks impressive. Minimalist is still huge on Etsy just now. People love that as a style. And of course, a well-loved animal. That's a pretty great start. I actually like the additional explanation here. It feels like the robot is trying to teach me how to think rather than just spoon feeding me everything. I could incorporate a pie. I can do puns. Honestly, this is a great start, I feel. Now, one thing with Chatty is you're not just one and done with the questions. She remembers the conversation and you can ask her to elaborate or change any point. I should have asked her for some animal puns here, but actually one sprang to mind right away. So let's bug her for some help with SEO. Hey, Chatty, give me some keywords. Now, you know what? This isn't a bad list. We've got many points covered. What it is, who it's for, and even some ideas for potential niches with the camping or adventure shirt ideas. And when you look at that, she's even adding other things for me to think about once I've created the design. But can she help me nail down the best keywords? Let's ask for more details. I was going to say drat here she doesn't have access to the tools to help with this but I'm actually impressed that she says this I was sort of expecting her to try and make stuff up a bit based on the data she did have I think any expert who can say they don't know is actually more reliable so yeah well done chatty and the advice here is not bad either. It's a little generic, for example, suggesting to use Moz, which is a great site, but it isn't really an Etsy specific site. I should have taught her about E-Rank here. Hey, I wonder if she got some pocket money to herself. She could set up an E-Rank account, then she would have access to this data. Again, I'm kind of impressed though with the extra advice. If you're new to SEO, this is actually pretty helpful. Okay, chatty girl, give me a title. Crikey, actually, that's a good list. 
they all look pretty good. Okay, I've not done any keyword research on them, but all of them look like an easy title with keywords in without being keyword stuffed. I do feel these titles are more generic for Google type SEO, but honestly, if I was really starting a range of bare t-shirts, I think I would actually test out at least most of these titles. Okay, chatty, while we're here, can you just write the description for me, please? You might as well do the tags too. I don't want to do any work today. Oh, whoops, did I just break the robot? You okay, hun? Ah, oh, there we go, she's back again. As far as Eatsy descriptions go, that isn't bad. I've seen worse. It's a bit generic, but let's face it, she hasn't even seen the t-shirt yet. Ah, I'm seeing an issue with the tags here. Chatty, get on that. So now I have a title, tags and description written for me in under 10 minutes real time. But I don't have a design yet, and I don't really want to have to do any of the work on this product. Chatty can't draw, can she? Well, she accidentally tried a little later in the chat, but she thinks this is what a bear looks like. I'm going to need a new robot, and thankfully there's another one out there that can help me. Dally to the rescue. If you've not heard of him, he creates original designs based on what you type in. So I asked for a minimalist geometric bear on a white background. Okay, that's not a bad start. Not sure what happened there, you poor thing. Did you run into a wall? But I actually like the rest of them. I kind of like this one. You can select that and ask for variations. Some are for sure better than others. These guys are a little funky. But this one isn't bad. Come on, Dal, let's try for more variations. Oh dear, poor bear. Right, I fancy something a little different. Let's add, let's add I want a line design to the prompt. Oh, actually. I like him. Come on, variations, my boy. No, no, not quite. Let's try again. No, I still prefer that first one. But let's see if he can fix this guy's legs. I edit, remove the bits I dislike, and then add the prompt in again. Come on, Dally, I'm rooting for you. Okay, it's better. The legs at least seem like they might support the poor bear this time. But actually, I still prefer the first. You can go back to your other designs just by clicking on them. So here I just grabbed a screenshot of this guy, pasted him into Canva and used their robot well, tool to remove the background, popped him on a t-shirt and added my terrible pun. And there, in less than 30 minutes, I have an item pretty much ready to print. I'm going to go into my conclusions here, but first I want to know what you think. Is this something you use or you may use in the future? So my thoughts, firstly the positives. I think both these tools are amazing for firing the imagination, especially with Chatty. I really felt like I'm brainstorming with someone smart. She takes direction and adapts so quickly. And also I love the extra detail she's given. It's a bit like an SEO class. I loved her work so much, I actually asked her to write a bit of the script for this video. Did you notice? Any robot generated script in this video will have this symbol on the screen. What do you think of her work? I've actually been played around with Dali for longer actually and again I feel it's a great tool for brainstorming to get ideas that you could go away and adapt for yourself in your own artwork. But the negatives with these, obviously Chatty doesn't have access to any SEO tools and also when I asked she can't do trademark checks for you either. So if she suggests phrases for your shirts you're going to have to check that these are actually okay to use. And you really have to check her work. As we saw she didn't know what tags on Etsy were like so the results are kind of a little generic. Make sure you double check everything and of course she's not writing in your voice. I feel as these chatbots become popular we may well find descriptions become a little boring, a little samey, so perhaps rewrite it with a bit of your own personality in there. And Dali can make some impressive mistakes with the anatomy, you may well have to go back and fine tune a whole lot. 
And that's glossing over the issue with how Dali in particular was trained. But one point, I'm not sure you can yet use Dali designs commercially. They do state anywhere you use them, you have to say that they're AI created. My feeling is I don't think they'll replace us as creatives, but I think they can help us be more creative. Double check the work and write and draw in your own style and check keywords and trademarks. But I do think I will be brainstorming ideas with my new friend Chatty. How about you?